Good evening, everyone. We read in this in Psalm, the New Kingdom Version, Psalm 103, verses 2 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgive all your iniquities, who heal your diseases, who redeem your life from destruction, who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. It's a metaphor. For some reason, we seem to grab the eagle aspect of this and run with it, not realizing the particular clause who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Inference here seems to suggest that if we're at, we eat good things, our youth will be renewed. We have heard many interpretations of this particular metaphor, this text, and we often miss the real focus. Today, we want to look at the Six Men Fellowship with Bishop Owls and all Owl and the folks there in Barbados, who's having their convention at this time. And we're delighted that we're asked to share and to give a word of greetings. Now, as we are reminded that we're looking at their renaming and rededication of the ministry. Look at the last clause of a text so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Now, there are many stories concerning the rebirth, the renewal of the eagle. And I say many stories, some are myth and some are real. But there's a lot to be gleaned by looking at the theme and subtopic of this convention. Renewal, restoration, recharge, recommissioning. It is said that the eagle has the longest lifespan among birds. It can live up to about 70 years, so they say. But to reach this age, the eagle must take a hard, a fast look in the middle of its life. Now, when as it gets older, long flex feather talons can no longer grasp prey as they used to, so the eagle can feed itself. Its long and sharp beak become bent. Its heavy wings due to their thick feathers become stuck to its chest and make it more, very difficult for the eagle to fly. Then the eagle is left, they say, with only one, two options die or go through a painful process of change, transformation, which they say can last 150 days. The process required that the eagle fly to a mountaintop, sit on a nest, as we read, as it is alleged. There the eagle knock its beak against the rock until it plucks it out. Afterward, the eagle will wait for another Beak to new beak to grow, and then will pluck out its talon. When its new talon grow back, the eagle start plucking out its old feathers. And after five months or so, the eagle takes its famous and you must have heard fight of rebirth. Like for us today, this is our flight of rebirth, and they say the eagle can live for another thirty years. Now, lessons here, whether this is a myth or not, or, or is based in reality, we sometimes need to get rid of old memories, old habits, another past tradition, so we can be free from past burden to be able to chart new courses, to take advantage of future and to make good projection with regards to the future and the benefit. It's good to be for change and it's good for transformation. It's good to make projection for the future. And I get with this, Bishop Howell and the group is at, the, is at this juncture. And I only bring you greetings from Holy Ghost Power and Salvation and Deliverance Ministries worldwide, Holy Ghost Power Ministry and at Jamaica International. But like the eagle, that this molten process, and it's a molten process, and all birds go through molten, changing their feather. This will bring your ministry 
to a new life and redirection that as you enter your renewal, the vision be embraced and be implemented. New direction, new vision. And we'll bring with it a state, a real state of change, restoration. That on your restoration, you will return to your former glory, recapturing your original goals and projection. And as you recharge, that your, 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 your energies, stamina, enthusiasm be restored. Just a time to get a new shot in the arm. And as we recommission, now we are, at, we are at a junction now, a fresh start, a new beginning, new authority, new delegation. Not only a new name be given, but a fresh authority be designated for the new group and for this new season. Once again, greetings and I have a real blessed convention from Dr. King, Bishop Pitt, and all of the ministers in Jamaica worldwide, Holy Ghost Power Ministry. Have a blessed convention. God bless you.